Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. I'm Waller's Wallet and unfortunately it's going to be just a little bit harder now to earn the Southwest Companion Pass starting in 2020. So in this video we're going to take a look at the changes for the Companion Pass and look at ways that you can earn the extra points you're going to need to earn the Southwest Companion Pass starting in 2020. But first, if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about credit cards, credit card rewards, and showing how you can use your points and miles to travel for less. So that's something that interests you, consider subscribing and turning the bell notification on as well. Also, consider giving the video a thumbs up. It really does help the channel out. Now, it is no secret how valuable the Southwest Companion Pass is. I've said it before, but it is the best domestic benefit on the market. I think it would be foolish to think that Southwest doesn't keep track of the blogs or YouTube channels out there telling you on ways how you can hack the Southwest Companion Pass. And starting January 1st, 2020, you're going to start needing 125,000 rapid reward points or fly 100 one-way segments in order to earn the Southwest Companion Pass. And that is up 15,000 points from the current requirement of 110,000 points. Or another way to look at it is that Southwest is increasing the requirement by about 14%. And so while we really never like to see any sort of devaluation, honestly, it could have been a lot worse for us. They really could have raised the amount needed to earn the Southwest Companion Pass or even stopped allowing credit card bonuses to count towards the Companion Pass requirement. But fortunately for us, credit card bonuses are still going to count towards the Companion Pass. Although someday, I think this is actually going to come to an end as well. And at the same time, Southwest points are no longer going to expire, which I actually think is pretty nice. But I hope that doesn't mean that a point devaluation is right around the corner. But this does seem to be an upcoming trend coming from airlines that the points don't expire, which I actually think is pretty great. But with typical bonus offers being somewhere between 40,000 or maybe 60,000 points, that means you're probably going to fall short just from credit card bonuses alone to earn the companion pass. So you're going to need to earn some extra points. So let's take a look at how you can do that. First, let's start off with credit card spend. And this one's actually just pretty straightforward because the spending you put on your Southwest credit cards is going to count towards earning the Southwest Companion Pass. So spending on your Southwest cards is going to help you get there. And while I typically recommend people to put their spending on flexible currency cards, if the Southwest Companion Pass is your goal, then this could definitely be worth it for you. Next, let's talk about actually paying for a flight. I know, we don't want to pay for flights or we want to pay as little as possible. But the points you earn from flying are going to count towards earning the companion pass. Also, if you have flexible currency like Ultimate Rewards or a card like the Altitude Reserve, you can use the travel portals or pay for the flights and use your points to offset those costs. And I know this isn't the way most of us would want to go about doing this, but it's still an option for you. And this might be the quickest way since other ways can take some time for the points to post to your account. But it's not the most frugal way. And if you were looking to get the points as quickly as possible, you probably would want to book a business select seat since you would be earning 12 Southwest points per dollar. So that would mean if you need to earn 15,000 Southwest points, you would spend about 1250 bucks in order to earn those necessary points. But there are cheaper options in this though and we'll get to that in just a couple of minutes. Now let's talk about shopping portals because just like the ultimate reward portal or even Ebates, Southwest has their own shopping portal. And there are plenty of options to earn the points for your shopping and these points do count towards the Southwest companion pass requirements. And while other portals may have higher point earning rates, if the goal for you is to earn the Southwest companion pass, then this could actually be a great option for you. And the amount of money you would need to spend is really going to depend on the stores and the earning rates of those stores. Also keep in mind that if you're using these portals, you can stack offers like with American Express offers to help you save money or even earn different points in the process of earning your Southwest Companion points. Or you can even use your Southwest credit card because remember, the spending on that counts towards the Companion Pass as well. Now let's talk about the Dining Reward Network. The Dining Reward Network is such an easy way to earn points. And the points you earn from the Southwest Dining Reward Network will count towards earning the Companion Pass. And I found this to be really good in the larger cities and there are ways to stack for even more savings or point earnings with the Dining Reward Network. Here's a video, I'll put it right up here a while on a video I did a while back on the Dining Reward programs. And if you haven't joined the program before, they typically offer a bonus for joining. Currently, I've seen it at about a thousand points, but I've seen it higher in the past. But unfortunately, those bonus points are not going to count towards the companion pass. 
And when you do dine at a restaurant that's part of the Dining Reward Network, you're gonna earn three rapid reward points per dollar spent, and this is in addition to your credit card rewards. And on top of that, the Southwest Dining Program also offer point bonuses when you reach certain milestones or just review the restaurants you ate at. These also should not count towards a companion pass, although I've seen points where people do get lucky and they will. So if you're someone who dines out frequently, this can be an easy way to earn the extra points you're gonna need that are gonna count towards the companion pass. Now let's talk about 1-800-Flowers and Harry and David. And this option might be less used by people, but it also might be the option you want to consider to help you earn those extra points. Because you can earn a thousand Southwest points that are going to count towards the companion pass for purchases of $29.99 or more. And I did see products for sale at that price. You might just need to do a little bit of looking around in order to find them. Also, if there's holiday promotions of increased offers, those should not be counting towards the companion pass, but the 1,000 point offer should. So if you're paying attention, and I hope you are, this could be a cheaper way for you to buy the points you need for the Southwest Companion Pass. Because if you needed, let's say 15,000 points, you can just send your mom, your wife, maybe an ex-girlfriend some flowers with a note on it that says, hey, thanks for the points. So buying 15 of these would only cost you about $450, which is better than paying 3x that for the flights you're gonna need in order to earn the companion pass. Next, let's talk about surveys. And this one could be a little bit more time consuming for you, and it might not really be worth it for you. But I have seen people who say they fill out these surveys on their commute home, and it's just easy points for them. Now, when you use your word for opinions, you can earn 500 points for a bonus, but unfortunately, that's not gonna count towards earning the companion pass. And while this won't be the most lucrative way to earn points, if you have time to kill, well, it's an option to help you. And one note here, the Southwest website actually looks to be a little bit out of date because they're still showing Southwest is part of eRewards, but when you go over to the eRewards website, Southwest is not there to earn points for taking surveys. It's only gonna be the reward for opinions. Now let's take a look at Southwest Hotels. Southwest Hotels is their hotel portal where they have partnered with Booking.com. And when you make a hotel booking with Southwest Hotels, well, you're gonna earn Southwest points and those points are gonna to count towards the companion pass. Do keep in mind though, this is an OTA and odds are that your status benefits are not gonna be given to you. And the points that you're gonna earn are gonna vary based on the hotel you stay at. And in looking at a few places, it seems that their inventory isn't actually as large as other OTAs, but either way, this could be a good way to earn points on paid stays that are gonna go count towards your companion pass. Then we have Rocket Miles. Rocket Miles is just another OTA where you can earn points or miles for hotel stays. And with Rocket Miles, you can earn up to 10,000 Southwest points per night. Usually though, the higher the cost per night, the more points you're going to get. But this isn't always the case. And they also have other programs outside of Southwest as well. And what makes this great is that the points from Rocket Miles are gonna to count towards earning the companion pass. But the trade-off, just like with Southwest Hotels, is you're probably not gonna get your elite benefits if that's something that's important to you. But really, if the goal here is to earn the Southwest Companion Pass, I'm sure you can live without getting your room upgrade for a weekend. So if you happen to be booking a paid stay, this could be a good option for you, especially if you're really close and you happen to find a good deal and you don't care about your elite status benefits. Plus, if you decided to pay with your Southwest credit card, that's gonna get you even closer because remember, that spending is gonna to count towards earning the Southwest Companion Pass. Now lastly, let's talk about referrals. If you happen to have a Southwest credit card, you can send out referrals to people and those bonus points you get from the referrals are gonna to count towards your companion pass as well. But even just a couple referrals can really push you over the mark needed to earn the companion pass. Now you also don't wanna be that person that screws over someone, so be sure to check your referral link with the public offer, because just like American Express, your referral link could be different than the public offer, and the public offer could actually be better than your referral link. But referrals can be a great and easy way to earn points, and it won't cost you any money as well. So while it sucks to see the requirements increase in order to earn the Southwest Companion Pass, I don't think it's nearly as bad as it could have been. And while you may not be able to earn the companion pass anymore just from credit card bonuses alone, there are still plenty of ways to earn the extra points you need in order to earn the companion pass. So tell me, what do you think of the changes in order to earn the Southwest companion pass? 
Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in this video. If you want to help support the channel, a simple way would be using the links on the website or in the description below. And until next time, safe travels and take care.